Welcome back to Project Hospital. Welcome back to Infectious Diseases uh, series where we um, have a new insurance policy to work through, um, which we are uh, working through bit by bit. We've uh, done a whole bunch of pandemic outbreaks, um, which have been a complete success. Um, we now need to reach 85% prestige at the end uh, of the day. Um, so we're waiting for midnight. I should probably also confess that this episode is being recorded and released on Christmas Eve 2020 and I have had a drink. So yes, um, you know, the, the Dean of Medicine, which is what I'm going to call myself, <laughs> um, has, has had a little, a little bit to drink. Um, so hopefully we won't kill anyone, but we'll see how it goes. I think what we'll do is we'll skip ahead because we've got five stars. Look at this. Look at this. Traumatology. Don't worry about it. It's a new department. This is to be expected with new departments. And we've not actually spent any time trying to improve traumatology at the moment. Um, we uh, do have a new insurance policy for traumatology. So we will... Um, look at doing that in the future but for now we are concentrating on infectious diseases and the insurance policy we have for that and you can see that that is five stars right there uh, so we're doing quite well um pretty happy with it we have got some changes happening over here which i haven't talked about uh now it looks pretty samey but actually if we come into is it build mode no management mode okay if we come into management mode and go to probably x-ray no x-ray so we can see here there's actually a lot more x-ray based rooms here than the color coding would have you believe um so what's happening is that i found that we don't necessarily need a sonography and a cardiology or cardiography room for uh, every department i have found this fairly unnecessary um, and what you end up getting is certain departments where these rooms these these are my sonographies um, that are in blue along the back here and then the red ones are the uh, cardiography rooms you find that some departments it just nobody goes to them and in other departments they are overrun um, and things like the cardiology department kind of needs its own cardiography on its own floor they're so busy that this is for ward patients only so anybody that's coming out of here can just go straight here they don't have to go downstairs so that's for walk-ins only right um and if we come up here as well where we have infectious diseases i've also given them their own because i don't really want them traveling around the hospital hospital too much um so again it's just a, a quick trip within their own department you can see here we've got the doors that sort of locks off this this department and everybody here is wearing their their masks uh, as they should be right <clears throat> so that's working um and so i'm currently before i redecorate all of this i'm sort of testing out a few bits and bobs in this department and i found that um, the sonography and the cardiography were very busy for x-ray so I've given them a room each um, based upon other departments that weren't get it that, that just had none workload in the day and none workload at night um, so I've given them over and we can see now we're getting low low medium you know it's working this one is high and low high in the day low at night and this one is low low um, so you know it's it's definitely helping um, so I'm trying to rebalance this. This is something else I'm doing in the background because, of course, this hospital is available on the Steam Workshop, it, but it's a slightly older version than the one that I'm working with here. And um, I want to put a more updated version out um, for you all to download and enjoy. But before I do, you know, I want to try and and get this balance right with the two new departments we've put in because it's not balanced right so so we're going to be working on that and at the end of the traumatology um <coughs> series i will re-upload this hospital 
um, which has received lots of awards on uh, the Steam Workshop, by the way. I'd like to say thank you to everybody um, that has been uh, giving awards to, to the hospital. Um, it makes me feel real good. It makes me feel good. Okay, anyway, let's uh, get to midnight so we can see if we achieve this, which we should do, right? Otherwise, what is going on? I mean, we're, at f we're at five stars. And there we have it. Midnight has come. Objective for insurance company has been completed. Reach 85% uh, prestige at the end of the day at infectious diseases. 20,000 doubloons are very generous. So, can't help but also notice that at midnight this arrived. An article in a local tabloid caused 30% of patients to go to a different hospital. What? What tabloid is this? I want to write strong letters i have complaints uh i want names <laughs> this is outrageous um you may also notice we have patricia here so this alarming thing happened uh patricia was in traumatology that's this is how bad traumatology is right now and we need to get to the traumatology series we need to get back to it so badly because she hadn't had any examinations at all and she was in the ward and went into a hypervolemic shock isn't that alarming i think that's a little bit alarming so um you know i gave her a blood transfusion and stuff and then immediately did some tests they eventually got to the physical which i'm pretty sure i asked for first but let's not get started so i asked for the physical and they found, of course, abdominal trauma. I mean, it is abdominal blast trauma. They had diagnosed it. They know where the problem is. There must have been an alarming amount of blood, penetrating wound, blast wound, abdominal pain, muscle and skin damage. She had hemorrhaging, severe hemorrhaging. She was unconscious. Like, they know where the damage is. And they didn't even do a physical examination before they put her in the ward on traumatology. Anyway, so I've taken over because they're clearly insane. Um, so uh, we've got her into, we put her on a blood transfusion because she's losing a lot of blood quickly. Um, I don't know why I'm laughing about that, but it, it's, it's just, it's a true thing. Um, and we're now getting her into surgery. So that's what's going on there. A terrible article about your facility. Who wrote? this my facility is great and look it's knocked down the star rating loads look it's look we just looked at these star ratings look at them now who is this tabloid i have very i am going to write a strong letter <laughs> to them i feel like i need to sue somebody this is an outrage anyway successfully finished two epidemic events oh dear this is a little bit samey so we've just had to do three epidemics in a row and now we're having to do two more okay oxymoron i like you but i are you getting a little lazy because we've 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 had this we've uh okay so i guess in the morning <laughs> we are kicking off another epidemic um it is the easiest way to write an insurance policy and create challenge i suppose uh, for the player or hospital administrator depending on what game you're playing i've noted that people still call project hospital um the better nostalgic option to theme hospital over two point which is very bizarre um i think that project hospital absolutely has its place i love this game i do love this game a great deal a strange amount actually i'm surprised how much i love this game but i do love it deeply um but i wouldn't call it um the true successor uh, to theme hostel that i find very strange and whenever i see um uh, a game critic writing that i just think they're in the wrong job do you know what i mean <laughs> it's very bizarre very bizarre anyway um oh no somebody else has collapsed i'm i'm doing so rubbish this evening let's see because uh, it is evening now i'm it's very dark outside it could just be because it's winter i i can't tell um but we're going to give them some oxygen because they're unconscious so oxygen is the way forwards look okay look okay look jennifer please <sighs> i wouldn't mind an animation where they close their eyes 
Is this not harrowing? That's the only word that I can use to describe it. Harrowing. The way their eyes are is harrowing. <laughs> we need to change this. We do. She's got tinnitus, head trauma, vomiting. Gross. Let's tell her to get some rest. Let's give her something for the vomiting. And again, we've had no examinations. So how about we do a physical? Um, and look, given that it's the head, we are going to do... This is what we're going to do. We're going to do an ear examination. Because that can cause balance issues, right? And plus we've got tinnitus. Let's also take a temperature. I don't know if that's going to... I don't know if there's any point to that. Uh, I think we should also do something visually. Um... Let's look at her eyes. Let's let's have a butcher at them. Let's have a butcher's. We haven't got to morning yet. But Pat Patricia died. Oh, I don't want to talk about it. I really need to fix this department. <laughs> I really need to fix this department. Um, it's becoming an issue. I've actually had a few die um, in traumatology because I haven't really looked at the department in any real detail yet um, and I don't know and understand a lot of the illnesses and it seems like there's quite a lot of challenging stuff there very excited uh, to get back to that department um, you can see here that I want to give her anti uh, IV antibiotics for the septic shock but then I wanted to discover exactly what's causing this now she has just she had just had an operation um, so I wanted to do another physical, which we didn't do before she died. Um, and I also wanted uh, to, I couldn't do more blood pressure, so I figure it wasn't that. I was going to take a microbial, an ICU microbial uh, uh, cultivation so that we could actually, oh dear, got it does fling around, so that we could actually just do that right here rather than sending it to the labs um just see if there was any kind of infection of the blood which is unlikely i think from surgery um problems with surgery i think can be found with things like blood pressure but i wasn't able to do another blood pressure examination so i feel uh, like it wasn't related to that uh, i didn't get to do the other physical um she could have had an infection this suggests there was some sort of an infection um and the other thing i would have done i think is monitored her heart it tends to be a cardiology problem but i thought i would do it anyway uh post-surgery but we didn't get to do it before patricia died so um that was that was upsetting um traumatology is definitely causing me the most issues at the moment and we'll get there right we'll get there we'll sort it out so this hospital can totally deal with it some of you might be wondering what's happening with my overflow uh, department. Uh, so I have now uh, turned all of these mini wards, which I only hold one bed each, into um, corridors. So they are no longer being used. That being said, I've kept the staff here. Um, for Oh, that shouldn't be. I've kept the staff here. Um as ICU uh, so we have an additional care and nurse day and night we have an additional doctor day and night and we have an additional transport nurse day and night uh, just to look after what's actually happening in here because of course all these desks are full and I feel like you can't have too many <laughs> working ICU um, even though I, I generally you know you can see here it's it's not full it's very rarely full um, but it is there. Uh, what's nice with my overflow ward is that should the need come up, it is quite easy to change into any kind of ward. They don't need much of a difference. Um, and the staff that work in these departments, you can just change what department they are working on. So if I felt that I had an overflow of infectious diseases, I could make a few of these uh, infectious diseases ward and I could just change the staff here to infectious diseases. They wouldn't lose. Um, it's not a great example. Um, okay, well, they would lose this. <laughs> uh, but you could, I suppose the nurses would be a little bit easier to change over their specialization. Um, change what department they're on and, and you'd be fine. Uh, this one's a bit of a difficult one. If I was to change her from my ICU, she would lose this. Um... 
so that is a little bit of an issue so there probably would be a little bit of um re-employment here but only because i wouldn't want the doctors from whatever wards that are working over here to take on this additional i'd want to give them uh, staff support um so there we are uh, that that's that's what we've got to go what we've got going on but it as a default i'm keeping them as icu because ultimately the the ward that's going to have overflow the most is going to be icu and in fact you could make it so that it's always icu right because if a high dependency unit over here or isolation in infectious diseases becomes um uh, too busy and you need space in it you can always move patients upwards so you can't move them sideways in this game so you can't say hey look i've got no beds available uh in the ward in this department but maybe i could just send them to a ward in another department where there's loads of beds available for some reason you can't do that i mean you can do that once they are actually on the ward you can then send them to another department, but they'll be there briefly before the game tries to force them back uh, to the ward they truly want to be on. Uh, which is very unusual because in a real hospital, they'll take any beds they can get, you know, and it's upsetting that we have this restriction that we we can't send them to any bed anywhere. We, we you know, we have to be quite specific. So what's nice about this overflow uh, ward is that you can always move them up so if they're in um, a normal ward you can always easily move them up to the high dependency if they're in high dependency it's very easy to move them up to the icu uh, which is here for me if icu is busy i have this over uh, overflow ward available so keeping this primarily icu is probably the better way to go in fact it's a lot less faff if you just always kept this as an icu um i'm i'm closing it down for the moment so that you know it's nice and local to them over here um but yeah it's definitely a thing right it's definitely a thing in that you could totally uh oh um see look this is traumatology again uh, we've got a long wait for examination in traumatology. Oh my god, it is such a desperate department. Oh my god, look at the state of her. Mary, what did you do? High voltage burn. So Mary, you know when you go into those wrought iron guarded places with the big boxes, they tend to have huge signs that look exactly like this. That says do not touch, do not enter, you know, at risk of high voltage. And you ignored all those signs and did it anyway. Is that what occurred, Mary? What is wrong with you? So she wants a urine sample. It's possibly something that I arranged at one point. Um, but you know what? She's fine. She's fine. So we won't worry about it. We'll take that examination off. We'll tell them not to worry about it. Uh, and they won't. So that, that'll be fine. Oh, we This department so needs attention. But we are in infectious diseases here is infectious diseases look look there's lots of people in this department in the isolation ward isn't there look they're even here look isolation 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 oh my goodness oh my goodness it's quite busy over here that's probably because of all the epidemics we've been kicking off and we now need to kick off another epidemic <sighs> so i had a a conversation very brief conversation with uh, oxymoron about saving in this game uh <laughs> and they said that uh a saving message in the game wouldn't be in the game for a little while because uh they needed to translate it into many languages and i got quite incensed by this because i feel that gamers players of games uh such as myself and you watching are savvy enough to understand that if we saw like in the middle of the screen or down in the corner a little icon like a little circle going around or or like a little uh, disc you know like a floppy disc even though nobody uses floppy disks anymore we all know what it means if it just flashed up for a second to let us know that autosave had kicked off that's exactly what we would understand it to be we're savvy enough to know that that means autosaving right Auto saving and auto saving means you will probably have a moment in the game where things freeze for a second because of course what well, we have a lot of problems with in um, uh, project hospital is micro freezes right 
Um, and particularly, the bigger the hospitals get, the more the micro freezes you get. Um, I don't have mods, um, but certainly after putting on level three of the hospital, you know, floor three, I've had micro freezes. Um, and I was saying to them, you know, you don't need language translation to say that the game has saved. But um, clearly, they thought I was full of nonsense because <laughs> this is what we have. We have a huge message that comes down here, like the whole thing pops up saying, autosave created, autosave created, autosave, hospital eight. <laughs> Why? This is not necessary. We're not that stupid. We understand autosaving. Um, but sure, okay. It's, I mean, it's fine. It's not a huge issue. I just think that it would have been better to get the message in the game quicker. Um, then worrying about all the translations into uh, a lot of different languages. Although, we should just take a moment to say thank you, Oxymoron, for translati translating what is fairly technical language into how many languages? How many languages they have in? They have a whole list in the main menu of languages that they translate it into, which is actually pretty impressive to be honest uh there's not a lot of games that translate into that many bleeding languages especially in such a technical language like medicine right medicine's a pretty technical language i mean i don't know about you but i have no interest in looking up even something like cardiology in some language that i've never even heard of um do you know what i mean like it's into some language that yeah, I, I, I have no comprehension of. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's it's a thing. <laughs> it's, it's a genuine thing. That aside, we are now into morning. Um, and it is time to kick off an epidemic. Now, I think it's safe to say that after all of my boozy waffling uh, of this episode, we are not going to be able to complete a pandemic in this episode, but we can certainly get it kicked off. A breaking news, food contamination at a local restaurant has caused a serious outbreak of illness. Even though health uh, inspectors have closed the restaurant down, local hospitals must be prepared for an increased influx of patients, which is good for us, given that we've got this tabloid nonsense uh, we're going to take over all patients let's press play um here we go my lovely reception oh yeah we should probably talk about right how i get transfers onto glass so i get this question a lot how have i managed to put these images onto glass well here it is it's very easy it's very easy in fact you might even notice the very keen eye of you uh, oh, actually, I suppose that's technically an outside room. You can put external paving, paving, paving um, internally with the same with the same technique. You can even put items. In fact, we might have a good example in the ICU. Yeah. So, like, you can see here um, that if we turn this round, we even have items uh, pasted on glass. Um, uh, uh, yeah, so this works for not all items will place onto glass successfully. Uh, it, it won't. Um, but transfers, all transfers will go onto glass and a whole bunch of items. So this is how you do it. It's a bit of a faff, right? But it's totally worth doing um, if, if you want to be able to enjoy this, which I often do. You can see I've done it everywhere. Um, so what you would do, first of all, build mode. Uh, so you would put up a wall. Now, I think it's always best to try and mimic the type of wall that you're trying to transfer onto. So let's 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 do this. Let's get rid of this transfer here, right? So say I want to put it onto here, right? Uh, we can see that I'm using a green wall. Um, so let's let's sort that with um, a green wall with the white line going through, which is this one here, this teal. Okay, so I will recreate this wall. Then what I will do is I will come over uh, to the transfers. Uh, so we want, uh, for this, we actually want the orthopedy, uh, which I want in white. I mean, you can choose a, a bunch of colors, but I want it in white. And then, this is how easy it is. We come over to prefabs, we go to copy, 
Um, now the floor is going to be different. I've not done the floor. But we're going to copy this. And then we just move it over to here. Right? And paste. And that is it. That's how easy it is. It's super simple. Uh, like I say, it probably has changed the floor. So we've lost our green line. But hey, you know, just do it before you put the floors in. Right? Um, or replace them. Like I'm about to do now. There we go. And we now have... You know, it's kept the green wall, we've put in our floor, and we've got the transfer on the glass. And that happens with items. So when I had that green wall there, I could totally put some items on it. Oh, she's got her arms crossed. Oh, she's already on blue. Um, could totally put some glass on there. No, something on the wall, like a hand sanitizer or whatever you want to do. And then paste it onto the glass. And that's it. That's all that I do. Um, pretty pleased with it. So we are seeing a lot of people uh, come in with crossed arms. Crossed arms is a sign that they have a flashing uh, symptom. I am playing specialist mode. So you will not see flashing symptoms for me. So when I see somebody with crossed arms, I have to put them on the blue alert. Um, because, yeah, you know, we can't see flashing symptoms. I've noticed with the recent update that we get them standing around um oh let's yeah we get them standing around here um and they even come and stand around in here this is very much the waiting room they should sit down for emergency uh, i'm not quite sure what that is they seem to get it eventually like if they're waiting a long time they come and sit down i'm not quite sure what that is that needs looking into uh, I should probably re report it. I won't. <laughs> okay, let's do a physical, uh, Dana. How many people do we have on here? Actually, it's not too many, is it? It's not too many. Ooh, what we should do, though, what we should do is get them all onto Blue Alert um, so that they are prioritised. Because what we mustn't forget about these events, oh, goodness, when we um, set them off, is there is a time limit to get them all seen so getting them all on blue alert is is a good thing because we have it seems if we go over something a better color we've had about 15 minutes to deal with uh this emergency a patient with an incorrect diagnosis oh my goodness oh my goodness patient got worse because of wrong diagnosis i don't see any diagnosis there i'm just saying i see no diagnosis he's about to collapse no feeling too good he's about to collapse right there what is this we can see from this icon they are a part of the event which is nice uh let's do a physical on that tapeworm let's do some abdominal uh, whoops palpitations uh for that that might be good let's also take a temperature and let's take a blood pressure okay anyway this guy's about to collapse um he feels really rough He's just looking for enough, yeah, open floor to collapse in. There it is. So he is now collapsed. Uh, he has hydration issues. Let's get him to trauma. We have this lady here. She's on blue alert. This guy, he's on blue alert. It just needs to check. See, look, like this lady. Linda, for example, is not part of the event. She was crossing her arms before she came here. So we're going to pop her on blue alert. We can also see that she has a chemical burn of the arm um she needs burn management pain let's uh, also do a physical but she's on blue alert so she should be popped to the top of the queue now very important oh what was this i didn't pay oh the chopper's taken off what did the chopper's taken off i don't know what what does she need now she is over here she's had a physical we've not found out much at all have we we've got all sorts of nonsense here all sorts of department things. I mean, it should be um, infectious diseases. But let's see. So she's got nausea. It might be worth doing some speech listening and checking her ears because nausea can be caused uh, by this type of thing, right? Oh, I can't find an ear examination. There it is. Let's do that. John Young. Uh, John Young. Oh, okay. Let's do a physical. Uh, let's also listen to the chest because of this. Let's also listen. No, let's do a abdominal palpitations. Let's do abdominal palpitations. See how that goes. And then after that, we might do a differential on this guy. Uh, yeah, uh, absolutely. 
If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you to all my Patreons for their continued support.